Okay, guys. Doing a video tonight. Thought I'd address some questions that a lot of people have been asking about my um, batteries and the capacity on them. When I bought these batteries, I bought them from Tech Direct. I didn't get them all at the same time. I got them at different times. Um, 24 of these I bought at one time. And them 24 that I bought at one time, it has been a little over six months since I got them. A uh, couple, uh, I think I bought an eight the next time until I got to where I'm at now. So, 24 of these have been six months, almost seven months since I have purchased these. And... When I got them, Tech Direct had them marked down on the capacity between 65 and 70 percent. Where they are, I don't know because I have never did a capacity test to see what the capacity is. Um, I didn't see no reason to do one. I had inside of this box right here, I had um, 16 golf cart batteries. And I also had 16 deep cycle uh, marine batteries. So I had 32 batteries. And then 32 batteries that I had couldn't compare to these here. These hold way more power. You don't have the um, the sagging when, when high, um, like when the microwave come on. You don't see the volt sagging like I did with the golf cart batteries and the and the deep cycle marine batteries these things is working really really good for me um, another um, thing that a lot of people have been saying was that I need to get a BMS in case something happened I was gonna buy a BMS but all the BMS's that I need is coming from China and right now China everything is closed down and they said it could be months before they start shipping again. They could take the order, but it would be like May or June before I receive it. So I didn't, I didn't order it. I didn't want to wait that long. But every time I do a test, let's do a test now. We're going to see. These things be pr pretty much on the money. Let's go through. Three point nine five. Three point nine five. Three point nine six. Three point nine six. Three point nine six. Three point nine six. 3 3.95 3.95 3.96 3.96 3.96 3.96 3.96 3.96 3.96 3.96 3.96 So they stay balanced, really, really balanced, better than I thought. So that's the reason why I haven't been in a hurry to get a BMS. It's been six months every time I check these. I notice when the batteries get fully charged, it goes into, my inverter goes into like a trickle charge mode. A couple of the batteries down on that end down there, will be reading a little bit more voltage than the ones on this end down here so um, but as soon as the sun set the trickle charge go away um, it's no more power coming in from the solar panels they all equalize out 
and all the way down until I got it set at um, 49.8 it transfers back over to grid power and I very rarely transfer back to grid power because I use my batteries as my primary source of energy and then I let the um, inverter switch over to the grid if it gets down but I very rarely get down there unless the next day when the sun comes up I mean we don't have no sun because it's very very cloudy and I can make it all the way maybe till about seven o'clock in the evening it'll, it'll switch over to grid and then once the um, once it switch over to grid, the, the grid power would charge the batteries back up and I can run all night, all the way up to the next day and all the way down to the next evening before the batteries run down. But if the sun comes out, it'll charge them up and top them off. I only charge these batteries to, to 57.3. 58.3. One, I believe, is fully charged, 58.1, and I only take them to 57.3. So, I think I've been having real, real, really, really good success with these batteries, no problem at all. And the reason why I think that is because I put all the batteries parallel, and then I series them, and that really keeps them... Um, equalized all the batteries equal especially in this bunch here and what what I normally do is probably about once a month sometime once every three weeks I take these these um, I shut the whole system down switch over to the grid I pull all of these bus bars off of here I let the battery set for a couple of hours and then I check them to make sure I don't have any in this pack here that's that's bad or, or or reading low and I never had any all of these batteries in in parallel normally stays equal so that's why I think my pack stays so equalized um, from this one to this one to that one is because of the way that I set it up with putting so many in and whenever I want to add more batteries, what I do is I take the ba I, I take the the, the um, whole system out of service, so I can um, pull all the bus bars off. Once I pull all the bus bars off, if I want to add like three more batteries, I add three more into here, and I add three more into each one of these to where. I tie all of them in parallel and I let it sit for about maybe five or six hours, sometime overnight. Let all the batteries equalize. Then I test the voltage between this bank and this bank and that bank. And once I do that, then I put it all back together. Well, of course I have to make longer bus bars to come over to accept the, the four. But once I do all of that, check everything make sure everything is in balance put it in there and once it's balanced I never had any problems with them coming out of balance I bring them all up together take them all down together I never take it down I think these said you can take them down to 30 um, volts I believe is is the lowest that you want to go with these that that a that'll make it where each cell is like uh, uh, 5.0 volts yep 5.0 times 30 I mean times 7 that's 30 so I never take mines close to 30 my inverter won't even go to 30 my inverter will shut down I believe at 40 or 41 is where the the pip inverter will will shut down if you haven't um, got any sun. It'll completely shut down at I think 40 volts. But if you on the grid, 
if you got grid power, I think at like 40, 42, or 43, it'll switch over to the grid. So these batteries never get close to being empty. I, I try to use it as less as possible, but I do use these as main source of heat. I mean main source of power. I don't use the grid. This is my this is the, the main source and grid is backup. But other than that, I thought I'd talk about that because I had a, quite a few people asking me about the BMS, asking me about the capacity of the batteries. Have I did a capacity test? No, I have never did a capacity test. But I have ordered some meters to go for the solar system here. And... Um, they are capable of doing capacity tests and I might do a capacity test on them when I get the meters before I hook them up to the to the solar and um, other than that that's about it but this is the solar I'm getting it all wired up it's still not finished up this is for my dump load this reads the the voltage of the battery and you could set the um, what voltage you wanted to dump the um, power once the batteries get full it'll dump it into a water heater or dump it into your dump load and then you have your two rectifiers and the, the first turbine that you've seen spinning that day the, the, the gray one it's a dual um, it's a dual unit it has two like two coils inside of one unit and each one of them is 24 volts so I had to I had to um, come off of this one here and tie it into that one to make 48 put it in series to make 48 so once I put it in series 48 volts comes into the battery but other than that I think uh, I said all I want to say tonight and uh, try to get another video up especially when I get my meters and we get some some good um, wind I can show you what the the volts and the amps is doing on the wind turbine but every other than that everything been running very very well my black wind turbine I'm gonna take it down and I'm gonna change the stator inside of them because that one has that one's a dual core too but it has uh, two 12s in it so I can only go to 24 so what I'm gonna do is put two 48s in there that way I, I can I can run 48 on both of them um, other than that I think that's all I wanted to say tonight y'all have a good night and I will see you later